Okay, so first of all, you guys spend a lot of money on equipment, you spend a lot of money on printing presses, your end product involves colour. Your customers want consistent print that matches the agreement, okay? Good colour management gives you that. I would say first of all, look after, always what I was taught as an apprentice, look after your equipment and your equipment will look after you. A lot of effort goes in from our side to produce equipment that is technologically quite advanced, quite important, but you've got to look after it. You've got to know that the readings that you're taking and the readings you're communicating to with a brand owner or your, your own individual customers or internally is right and you've got to do it with confidence. As manufacturers, we advise that you should have your equipment recertified, not calibrated. Let's make a complete um, difference between what a certification and a calibration is. Calibration keeps you in a daily, monthly, colour centric back together, right? When we talk about recertification, we talk about um, getting the device, preventative maintenance making sure it's back to factory settings so that you know a lot of people do this because of the iso standards that they have particularly if you're working with some of the big brand owners but get them back to the people get them back to mark and laura at digital view let them recertify it get it back out you could have a load device while you're doing it and then you know through that year that you're in certification as it came out of the factory so they're talking about what, when we're describing color we've recently let's i would say probably in the last five to ten years talked about LAB. So a lot of, a lot of us know about Delta E and LAB. And, right, what x -Rite have done now is what we call CXF. So it's colour exchange format. It's a bit like PDF for colour. It's a standard file format that describes colour much better, just an individual LAB. LAB just tells you, gives you a good colour match, but it tells you what it is at the time it was done on what substrate under what lighting condition. CXF data gives you the whole spectral value right through the visible spectrum and with different light. What it means is, should you change substrate, should you change lighting, should you change pigments when you change an ink, you can quickly change this because you've got all the spectral DNA of the colour. From a general point of view with colour management, you can't do it all yourself. There are always different parts, you know, so even, even um, in my own part, I might interact in two parts. So I might interact with the ink department, I might interact with the press department, but not necessarily that I partner in, you know, or have equipment that's in the pre-press room. It is so important to get a good partner that in, is involved in all these. First of all, uh, I'll give you three. So first of all, I see um, the brand owners who through, probably through the pandemic, have seen the reliance on having to travel for press passes um, diminish. They just couldn't travel. A lot of places weren't open, couldn't get into the country. So how did we get around this? Well, first of all, we've got to be able to, as we were talking about the spectral data later, earlier on, we've got to be able to specify this color. So there's no ambiguity, there's no, the standards are set people know what they're supposed to be matching and through all this kind of work that we've done with the brand owners and specified this is the colour, this is the criteria for matching it, if you do it on this strip, substrate then this you know, this is the delta D you've got to match, this is the um, substrate it prints on and we've seen this reduce dramatically for the brand owners and also improve quality as well. I think another part would be that um, I'm seeing consolidation and diversification Certainly consolidation where I've seen some of the bigger groups now, um, whether it be through scales of economy or people you know, struggling in certain areas where, where, where the economy has dropped down in the last couple of years. I've seen some of the bigger companies buying other, up other people. Uh, we're also strong with a lot, a lot of the big print groups. But then also diversification. You know, I'm a printer, can I start doing packaging? Packaging's looked attractive because they never skipped a beat through the, um, through the pandemic. These were the people that kept print going a lot. And we, you know, we did really well through the pandemic by supporting this, uh, the packaging people. But I'd also see what I would call big data. 
a lot of people now are looking at their internal processes. Cost of raw materials, cost of ink, particularly substrate, and not just the cost of substrate, but how you know what are your lead times to get hold of different substrates, how can you change to other substrates that are, that are available, but not particularly the one that you use all the time. So what we're seeing is people looking internally and saying, how can I get the information about lean iron, how product, my productivity. So what, we, what we're seeing is things like, you know, how can we get to color quicker? First of all, we talk about the spectral data. Well, we can swap between, you know, different pigments, different ink types, different uh, ink suppliers, for instance. Then we've got the substrate to take into account. Straight away, all our, all our uh, measurement devices take into account the substrate that you've got. But it's also, how much setup do I take to get to where I am? Can I use 300 sheets to set up instead of 400 sheets? And this is the kind of difference that can make between profit and loss. Now, the expertise that we bring and our even our scanning systems that are on press and some of the, what we call the closed loop systems that are, you know, taking information from their scanning device and sending it to the press automatically are bringing those down. And we start to see not only setup costs reduce, but also the cost of quality go. There's not so many sheets being thrown away because they're up and down in the run. The scanning things that we, uh, the scanning devices that we use can monitor these right through the thing, right through the run. And this is where we're trying to get to because everybody's trying to reduce cost. 